Hello, well today let's start with a question. What's black and white and everywhere? What's black and white and everywhere? I am of course talking about the barcode. So you can find them everywhere. For example, on this bottle of washing up liquid. Um, on the back of these books. Um, used when they're sold and when they're also borrowed. And even on my replacement barcode scanner. Um, on the end of the box there. Okay. And they are used to keep track of items, what's selling, uh, who's borrowed something, even babies in hospitals are barcoded, um, so they can match them with their parents, maybe. Okay, now, barcode is two words, so bar and code. Now, they have a barcode. And bar, I'm sure you know, no, it's not where you can buy alcohol, as my junior high students uh, said the other day. It means a line, okay, a line. And code, a kind of message. So it's a line message. A line message for who? Well, for a barcode scanner or reader. Using the uh, special equipment, it can read the, the barcode and convert it into a usable signal. We're going to take that apart in a moment. Okay, but first, a couple of questions. When was the barcode invented? Well, the the idea of the barcode has been around since 1951, when Norman Joseph Woodland and Bernard Silver had an idea of keeping track of items, or the price of items, to speed up the checkout in a supermarket. Um, but it, the idea didn't really gain traction until the 1970s, when George Laura um, had the idea of making the barcode rectangular. Yes, funny enough, the first barcodes were actually circles. Uh, system of concentric circles, thick and thin, working the same as the modern day barcode. Um, but it was George Laura in, uh, 19, in the 1970s who came up with the idea of using the rectangular box that we all know today. Okay. What was the first item to be sold of a barcode? It's easy. The first item to be sold was a packet of Wrigley's chewing gum. What's more, I can also tell you it was sold at 8.01am on June the 26th, 1974. And it was sold at Marsh's Supermarket in Troy, in Ohio, in the USA. And it was sold to a Clyde Dawson. And the cashier was actually Sharon Buchanan. Now you know. Okay, let's go to our barcode reader. And let's see what's inside a barcode reader. How does it work? Okay, I'm just going to move the camera down so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so this is our barcode scanner. This has served many years in English pool. Um, and so let's take a look inside. You can see at the bottom, there are actually four screw holes, um, which I've already uh, taken out from there. And on the top, there's this blue cap, which is actually a softer plastic uh, than the rest of the case. Okay. It's soft because as this gets hit around, I imagine, to protect the casing from any damage. If we pull the top off, okay, then I just managed to switch it on. There we are, okay, ready to scan. Um, we can see that we have this cover. There's the very soft plastic, okay, the protector if you like. And inside there's another piece of clear plastic, um, I suppose, to stop you putting your fingers into the scanner or more likely to stop dust and dirt getting itself inside that. I'll prise it apart. Okay. We bring it out there. Um, okay, so now you can see inside um, the barcode scanner. Okay, we have something here, it's rather black box, it kind of comes down and then expands out again. And the wires leading out, obviously, you go into the uh, computer, um, sending the message. Um, and at the front, obviously, there's a light. Okay, and there are four, eight, four main components uh, to a barcode scanner. Um, there's a light. Can you see what it is? Uh, yes, that's a light. And this is actually a CCD scanner. We'll come to that in a moment. Um, but that only needs light. It's not actually sending a signal out and bouncing it back. It just needs a light source. Um, and there was a question, why do they use red LEDs? Um, well, the simple answer to that is, red LEDs are cheaper. Yes, they're the cheapest LEDs, so that's why they use them as a light source. 
Oh, okay. It also gives us a, a, you know, a target to aim for when we're scanning. Oh, okay. Um, there's also, so we have a light, we have a lens, um, which is kind of the focus, a bit like an eye. Um, we have then an imaging device, in this case it's a CCD at the back there. Um, and there's also a decoder. Okay, well, I don't know if you can see that, but there is the lens uh, and some kind of filter included. I'm going to take that out. Um, the lens. And if you can see, there is this rectangle um, filter in there, which then sends that on to the CCD scanner at the very back of the barcode reader. I imagine that's quite important. Okay, and finally, or not finally, in the light train, there is a CCD scanner. And a CCD scanner, that stands for Charge Coupled Device, um, which is basically a, hundreds of electronic sensors in the, arranged in arrays, which actually produce an image of the black and white lines of your barcode, which then can be decoded um, by that decoder. And this is the decoding device, almost all the decoding device. Some is powering the light, obviously. And the decoder converts the signal of the barcode that has been received uh, by the CCCD sensor and then converts it into the numbers. It, in effect, reads it, processes it, processes the information, and then sends it uh, to your device and tells it what numbers it's seen. And it does this all very quickly. And so we can imagine the parts, another way to imagine them, is that light, well, that's just light. It just lights up things, illuminates it. It makes it you know, easier to see. Um, we have the lens, which works a bit like an eye. It focuses things down. Um, it makes sure you know we're looking at one thing only. Okay, what are we interested in? Well, we're interested in the barcode only, not other things. Then we have, which could be the you know, the back of the eye, which actually sees the image. And then this decoder is like a brain, which makes sense of what we've just seen, um, and then creates it into a usable form. Okay, so now you know what's inside a barcode reader or a barcode scanner. Okay, and one last little bit of information. Each barcode, and a standard 12 number barcode uh, used in supermarkets, and there are many standards by the way, uh, but a standard 12 number barcode actually consists of, in that uh, rectangular box, consists of 95 segments either of uh, space or a bar. There are actually 95 segments in the standard 12 number barcode. Um, that's because each number is represented by a seven segment code. Um, for example, the number one, this is demonstrated quite easily, uh, number one is represented to the barcode scanner it reads it as bar, no, no, sorry, it reads it as space, space, bar, bar, space, space, bar. Okay, that's a one. Now, if it goes to number six, six is space, bar, space, bar, 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 bar. Okay, so there are 95 lines similar to this in the barcode. Obviously, 12 times 7 equals 84, uh, plus there's one clear segment between each number, giving us 95. Okay, well, thank you for watching. Um, next time you're in the supermarket or in the library, now you know what's inside one of these and how a little bit how it works. Thank you. Bye.